we don't have any smoothie recipes to start making yet, but to start with, that isn't going to matter. Instead, we're going to look at the basics that apply to any smoothie. Because, really, you don't necessarily need a recipe. You know, there's nothing wrong with just experimenting with different combinations of fruits and vegetables and tweaking the ratios to find things you like. Elsewhere in this series, you'll find a guide to the different health benefits of various fruits and vegetables, as well as the benefits of different nutrients, and that can serve as a good starting point. But to get creative, you need to know the basic rules that will apply regardless of your ingredients. How do you make sure that your smoothie is basically tasty and doesn't leave you cold? Well, the first thing to do is to choose the fruits and vegetables that you're going to add to your smoothie. As mentioned, you should choose the fruits and vegetables based on the goals you want to achieve and the nutrients you're interested in. Of course, you should aim for a balance, but ask what your primary goal is too. Is this a fat-burning smoothie? an energy smoothie, or a fibre-packed smoothie. Think too about the sugar content and acidity. Something like a banana or an avocado will be much less sugary than something like an orange or a mango. If you have one or two ingredients that pack a lot of sugar, then consider adding a few less sweet ingredients to try and even the score. What's also very important is to make sure that you get your ratios correct, and we'll come to this in a moment. The first thing to add to your container before you start making your smoothie is some form of liquid. This, of course, is going to be what keeps your drink a drink and not a mush. What's also important, though, is that you think about how much liquid you want and what type of liquid you're going to use. The most common choice of liquid will be water. However, it's also fairly common to use milk, which comes packed with its own nutrients, or to use fruit juices. It's also normal to use one to two cups for one person's worth of smoothie. Note that your smoothie's consistency is very much dependent on what you do now. If you want the drink to be very runny, then adding a lot of water and juice is fine. If you prefer a thicker consistency, though, then you'll want to add a little less and or choose something that is thicker to begin with, such as milk or even yoghurt. Whether you prefer your drink to be runny or thick is entirely a matter of preference and might also vary depending on the recipe and the goal. Common liquids you can use for delicious smoothies include water, almond milk, milk, coconut milk, coconut water, organic fruit juice, freshly squeezed juice, kefir, tea, or yoghurt. Yep. Have fun and experiment. The next thing to think about is your base texture, and often just referred to as the base. This is what's going to provide the body of your smoothie and give it a thick consistency so that it is a smoothie and not a juice. The aim here is to pick something which has a thicker consistency itself, and that usually means something along the lines of bananas, mangoes, pears, peaches, or avocados. Yogurt, or yogurt as it's also pronounced, also works well, as do nut butters like peanut butter. Coconut meat, chia seeds, ice, frozen fruit, or even cream, although this last option is not quite so healthy, are also things that you might want to consider. Good bases include bananas, mangoes, pears, peanut butter, avocado, yogurt, frozen fruit, peaches, apples, plums, or melon. The next thing to do is to insert the additional fruits and or vegetables in the necessary ratios. You've already set them aside, now you need to choose the specific quantities and add them in. For example, if you're going to make a green smoothie, you'll probably be adding spinach, kale, beet greens, dandelions, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, etc. For juicy ones, you'll likely have things like berries, oranges, apples, and so on. 
you already have your base and this is going to give the most flavour to begin with. Choosing fruits from here is a matter of choosing what goes well with that base and you can work this out by thinking about what works well on a plate together. For example, a great dessert is to have berries with yoghurt and for that reason you can get the same delicious effect by adding berries to a yoghurt base. This will give you a ton of antioxidants while the yoghurt in particular will help you to get digestive benefits and we'll talk more about this in a subsequent video. Conversely, strawberries are known to go very well with bananas. Likewise, mangoes and orange is a great mix. With all that done, add your fruits into the blender, de-seeded and de-stoned of course, and then blend them up into a pulp. You can always add more water at this point if you decide it needs it. Remember to keep your hand over the lid though. 